energy focus for the week. Everybody, Terry here. What's up this week? Well, as we start the week, we're still in that dark energy. We're the last few days of the fall. The days are short. The energy is deep. And you might actually feel a little drop in your energy. I know I can get that way sometimes, especially right now. We have the shortest days. The dark nights are here, right? And our soul is pulling in and pulling in and pulling in. And you may be thinking like, wait a minute, aren't I supposed to be joyous? It's the holidays. Well, first of all, not everybody feels that way around the holidays, right? Some people are alone. Some people don't celebrate. But maybe you do celebrate, but you're still feeling a little bit of this going on in your energy. So this is part of it. This really is. As we start the week, we're feeling this, but the good news is as we move into the week, we come into the winter solstice on 1221. So it is an opportunity right now, beginning of this week, go back, review, we're still in retrograde energies, and allow yourself not to judge. Don't judge how you're feeling. Notice what those emotions are. Bring them into the body. Breathe through it. Trust that as you breathe through, energy is moving. Emotions are just that, energy in motion. So we really do want to allow ourselves to be curious. Why am I feeling this? What's going on? What can my soul be telling me right now? I know my teachers had me do an exercise of writing. Ask the questions in the right hand, answer it with my inner child, with that part within me in my left hand. It's been very interesting. I can't always remember what I wrote, but can't always read what I wrote, but the messages are really there. And it is helping me to open up to the teachings, the lessons that the darkness brings, right? Instead of judging it and feeling bad and going deeper and deeper and deeper, no, it allows for healings to come forward. And that's the energy we're in right now. There is a lot to be learned in this energy right now as we open up to the solstice. So yes, the solstice comes in on Thursday, kind of late. It's a good opportunity to celebrate, do some rituals. There's so many things you can do. I love the idea of a burning bowl, get a burning bowl, burn away put a little Reiki into it. It's a great way to really honor your path and really clear out any of the old energies. You don't wanna bring it with you, you don't. Your soul doesn't have to keep carrying that old and old energy. We can learn, we can evolve, we can open up to bigger purposes and even open up to new contracts. So that's where we are this week as we go through it. I just know that when I take the time to really go deep in, take some time to really honor it, get out, celebrate, find ways, light a fire, find ways to really open up to this new season ahead because after Thursday, the light starts to return. I know, I know, it's only a few minutes each day, but we begin to get onto that other side and move our energies through. So let's take a moment, let's center our energy, take a breath. We'll look at the cards that come up, guiding us through this week. All right, so wherever you are, if you can, Close your eyes, find something to light. That's what I'm gonna do. Calling in the sacred elements, calling in the fire, opening up the soul, feeling that spark of passion, desire coming forward for you. Noticing the element of air, clearing the mind, clearing the space. Calling in the element of water, washing through the emotional body, all those deep feelings, let them just breathe, let them wash away. Calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering, taking a moment, feeling that connection for you. Inhaling, breathing up the body, calling all your energy back into you, call in your spirit, feel the alignment as you pull your spirit back to you. Inhaling, breathing up the body, and exhaling, dropping right into the deepest part of your heart, right into the very center. Feel that connection, your spirit, the greater spirit. Know that you're known, know that you are loved. Feeling all this energy creating space around us, calling in the masters, the teachers, the archangels for joy and love. Calling in the crystal beings for amusement, protection, 
Calling in your higher self, feel that energy coming up above you, calling in your guides to move you through the end of the season, inhaling and exhaling right into the deepest part of your heart. What is that intention for you this week? Feel it, see it, know it, hear it, and allow the elevated emotions of how you want to feel to radiate out all around you. Setting that energy, inhaling, and exhaling right into the heart. Feeling that connection right there. Grounding in your power right in the solar plexus. The heart is open. Focus the third eye for your week. And as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open, coming back. All right, let's look at some cards moving us through this week. A little clarity, a little understanding. Reading from the Empowered Spirit Tarot. All right, Five of Fire. Ooh, change coming in. Yes, change of seasons for sure. So fire is that passion. All right, it's moving through this last little bit of the Sagittarius energy, right? So lots of times when we see five, we think of change, conflict, but not necessarily, especially with fire, passion. Maybe this is helping you to align to your purpose. All right, know that as you open up and allow this to come through, six will follow, which is harmony. So right now we are moving through transitions and it is a lot of change going on in the world. Harness your energy. Know that this is going to help that passion, that purpose moving through this week. All right, we have the daughter of air, which is perfect for what we were talking about. Be curious, open up your energy field, open up your mind. All right, sometimes we think about, you know, how that, that young energy, that feminine, that daughter's like, oh, I love this, oh, I'll do that. Oh, I'll think about this. Yes, have curiosity for your path. Don't judge how you're feeling. Just be curious, ask, what is this about? We have the mother of earth, all right? So this is about grounding with mother earth, but it's also boundaries, taking care of yourself, right? It is time for self-care. We're all busy, busy, busy. Make sure you schedule time just for you. Maybe it's a bath, maybe it's meditation, maybe it's just pulling all your energy in and breathing. Whatever it is for you, this is really important to remember to mother that inner child. And that's sometimes too what that dark energy is about. Go with it. I know that's what I'm doing. Ask your inner child, what's going on, right? It is time for you to take care of you. And I love this, the nine of water. This is our wish card. So as you open up to the end of the week and as that winter solstice comes in, it is a time to put your wishes out. More's coming. This is heart. This is love. This is emotions. Allow yourself to make a wish. Renew your faith in that authentic self of who you are. That's what we want to bring forward into the new season. All right. So it's okay for change, passion, purpose to come forward. We want this, especially moving from one season, the Sagittarius energy is fire that has been helping us. Be curious. Just be curious. Open up. Don't judge how you're feeling. Ask why. Make sure you're taking time for you. Definitely very important. Pull your boundaries in, take time for you. Nurture your inner being. And then you'll come out with the solstice and make a big wish for your new season ahead. More is coming. All right, take a nice deep inhale as we pull all this energy in. Notice how it resonates with you. Inhaling and exhaling. Feel the centering of your own energy. Need some help? Need some guidance? My Intuitive Path program, Soul Work, begins in January. We've got a great group already started. Check it out. DM me for more information or check out my website. I would love to have you in the group. Learning to connect with your guides, your angels, learning about past imprints, past lives. Fascinating. When we work in the Akashic Records, all you really need is some intuitive knowledge. All right. We're going to gain that experience, gain more confidence, build our skills as we do this work. All right, everybody. Happy end of fall and opening up to the new season ahead. Take another deep inhale, bringing all your energy in. Take a moment of gratitude. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down, centering your energy. 
Gratitude for the spirit, the connection you have with the greater spirit. Gratitude for transitioning through the dark and into the light. Happy holidays to your spirit. Namaste.